Uh, let's go a6. Why not? Yeah. And mods will put it in even. He goes bishop c4. Okay, let's play b5. Gain tempo on the b. Oh, is bishop f7 a move here, by the way? It is, but it's not a good one, I don't think. His queen's getting trapped here, I believe. Yeah, bishop b4, knight c6, or bishop c5. I think the queen's getting trapped, unless I'm mistaken. Let's go here. I think the queen's actually likely getting trapped here. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Bishop c5, also a big threat here next turn. I mean, he has e5, I guess. I'm going to go bishop c5 next move, I think. Yeah, this has to be correct. I mean, I just want to go queen e7 and then trap the queen, basically. Who's there? Um, how do I trap the queen is the question. Okay, I mean, queen e7 looks pretty decent here just to try and bring the rook in. Ah, okay. I, I think I know how I'm going to trap the queen in the next two moves. I think I, I, think I know what I'm going to do. He's also, like, so slow. He goes bishop h6, which I don't understand at all. Um, knight b4 here is a move. But I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to bring my rook in here, actually. He has e5, then I'm knight d5, maybe. I also have knight g4 to hit the queen, at, or hit the bishop at some point as well. But he's just so slow as well. Okay, let's go. Actually, wait, now I've got knight a5 maybe? Wait, no, let's go here first. Okay, I have queen f8 here maybe. I also have knight a5. I'm gonna go here and just take with the king. Let's go here, bishop b7 incoming. Just to trap the queen. I think I'm okay here, by the way. Okay, now I have to be careful here. I think I go... Let me think about this one second. Not king e7. Um, I think I misplayed this a little bit. Yeah, it's got b4. What am I down though? I'm only down in exchange here, right? I'll go here. Go here to hit the pawn. I mean, this still isn't great, but I feel like I'm... Okay, now I'll take. I'll go d6 next move. It's not wonderful, but it's not that bad either. Okay, first things first. Um, Trying to go there. I have to find a way to keep the game going. That's the first thing. Goes there, which looks kind of weird. I mean, these two Bs are very active now. I could have played e5 first, too. I don't really want to take... I'll just go here. There's Bishop G, Bishop D4, maybe a big threat. There's F3. Takes is wrong. I'm going to go E5 to hit the pawn here. He has Knight E4, maybe. He's getting very low on time, by the way. Let's go here, hit the pawn.
Queenie Seven was also playable too, I guess. But he's so low on time. So slow, by the way, here. So slow. King H1. Um. Okay, I should be winning here somehow. Let's take. Actually, why did I do that? That was bad. Ugh. There maybe. Okay, now he's in blitz mode, so now it's just a matter of outplaying him if I can. I'll go here. What am I doing here? Oh, I messed this up. Um, I'll go here. Go here, maybe. Maybe here. I blundered. Ah, oh, great. Wait a second. Let's think. Let's go here. Okay, I tied him up now, and I should be winning. Yeah, I, I, yeah, okay. I think I'm winning. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to start pushing my P. D4, D3, and it's GG. Mm, not a good first game. We're going to get the win anyway. Uh, let's go here. Um, does it actually matter where I go? I don't think it does. I'm going to go here. Does D2... Oh, yeah. I think I ignore it. No knights, no rooks. I feel like being... I feel like having some contempt here. I feel like... Just, like, not winning immediately to, to kind of annoy him. Thank you to Cassidy for the 15 and real icky. I think I was losing after move 3, by the way. But let's see. Let's go to the game review. <laughs> I was just losing on move three. Okay. Hey, it happens. Even to the best of us. Uh, where's game review? Let's check the game review. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Bishop C4 is not a good move, apparently. And <laughs> B5 is just a blunder. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah. Where do you start going wrong? Okay. On uh, 95 here, I was already kind of okay. Oh, 94 and I'm okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, double question mark on move two. Hey, it happens. What can I say? That's just life. But anyway, we got the win in round one. Let's keep going. Let's see who's still playing. Oh, wait. No, here comes game two. Okay. We're playing the Ginger GM from, um, I think Willie Styles from uh, United Kingdom. Let's play H4. Let's have some fun. It was nice meeting you with Pierre and Hunt. Thank you. Hope you're doing well, Big Ag. Let's play the Cadas opening. Oh, 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 
I think C4 was the reason. I remember that Magnus video with Peter Heine. I think they said H4 was C4 and G3 was the reason that H4 is playable on move one. I, I mean, I, that's what I seem to recall them saying. They would Dayblaze on your hands, Luke, for the Prime. Appreciate Thank you so much, you guys. So, all right, let's 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 keep going, you guys. Keep rocking and rolling. Goes Knight F6. Okay, so I feel like in that Peter Heine Magnus video, I think it was G3 was the move here with Bishop G2 to hook the, uh, hook the diagonal. Let's take... Because now there's knight c3 and knight g5, I think. I could be wrong, but I think... I vaguely remember this from their video that they did. This bishop b4, which I don't... Understand at all. First of all, I have a3 here. Wait a second, let me think. I have a3, I also have queen a4. I also have knight c3. I also have bishop g2. I mean, I think I'm just going to play a3 to hit the bishop. Yeah, I, I don't know where this bishop is going. So he goes here, I have b4 or queen a4. I mean, this already looks like I, I might be fine it goes e4 so I can take if I want to I can also play knight g5 which okay this is really starting to get a little bit weird knight g5 is gonna go e3 I guess I wonder if I go bishop g2 or maybe I check and hmm let's think about this I think I'm gonna check So I have knight c3, I have e3. I mean, I, I don't know if this is actually good. Yeah, it goes there. I'm going to take, he'll take, and I'm going to play e3. And I want to go knight c3 and d4, maybe build a flying v formation here, actually. I also have b5 to hit the knight. I also have knight c3. Like, I feel like I should be better here if I'm precise. But being precise is not easy. Because um, this is actually a very messy position. Let's go here. I don't actually like my position, by the way. Probably going to go queen f5 if I had to guess. Yeah, that's what I expected. Um... not easy to play actually I think I'm gonna go mm, I think I'm gonna go d3 here and then maybe b5 maybe queen f4 somewhere I actually think my position's pretty bad here objectively but we'll see because these light square pieces are not great there was a oh a5 is a move that I didn't did not even see yeah I did not even see this move great let's go e4 attack the queen I guess I mean, I have b5, I guess. Eh. Let's see what I do, what I should do here. Very, very unclear. Very murky. He's also very slow, though. So if I can just keep the game going and keep the imbalance alive, I have chances. Now, bishop g5 is a move that I initially wanted to play. Now I'm kind of wondering if it makes sense. I'm gonna go b5 anyway. I'm gonna go here to trade the knights. Because the queen covers a square. If he moves the bishop, I just trade and sack the queen, and I should win the game. It's a very, very weird. I think I'm almost okay here, almost being the key word. Simon very, very slow here. Very slow. Because I think he's trying to see if there's some way to win the game. He goes knight b... Wait, what? Ah, he wants to go queen c5 or something weird. What the heck? Is this somehow okay for black? What the heck? go here once I get king f2 I think I'm okay here yeah once I get king f2 I think I'm okay knight g4 is a crazy good move from Simon but he's too low on time so he's gonna lose anyway I think yeah he's too he's too low on time here he's just he's, he's running out of clock 
Yeah, go here. I had d4-2 maybe, but I think king f2 is a lot safer here. Just to block hit the pawn. Uh, let's take with the rook. Okay, so he's actually playing this quite well. I have d... No, d4, queen c1. Go here. Go here, attack the queen. Of course, open up the scope. I could take... I can also play bishop d3, which just looks better. And let's just take... Because now my king is very safe on f2, actually. And I could also take this pawn. Queen g5 is fine, but I'm just going to take. Now my king is amazing on f2. It was f5, I think. I mean, I can obviously take. It's just a question whether I should, because he's got five seconds. And because he has five seconds, I don't think it makes sense. Yeah, now we just win the game, because he has to trade queens. That's so sad. Okay, right, we got the win. I think knight g4 is actually a great move. No, it wasn't. Oh. No, it was good, but... Oh, queen c... Oh! He played the wrong order. He should have gone here, because then if I take, he gets, the... he gets this one. Although... This is still... Game still goes on. I, I don't know what's going on. Weird. B3. Who's this? Jo... Who? Who? Sorry, I don't even know who this guy is. Play e5. <laughs> That's gonna make a great clip later. Someone's gonna clip that and turn that into a short. So I'm gonna be like, who? I've never even heard of this guy. Um, which one do I want to play? There's so many approaches here. E4 is playable. I'm just gonna go e4 um, and takes and play d5. I think knight e7 is supposed to be acceptable. C5 is acceptable too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play this knight e7 with the knight jumps. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is gonna make a clip somewhere. This is gonna be a clip or a short. It's gonna be like, he's squinty. He's like, who? There's some some American champ who I've never even heard of. I don't think he's American, actually. Is he? Is this gonna, no, Colombian. Okay, youngest Colombian GM ever. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I've never, if he's some GM and he's a kid, I'm like, and he is the U. He's from the U.S. I'm like, I, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm old these days, but I, I still feel like I have a pretty good idea of who the players are. Uh, he goes d3, which looks a little bit sus to me. Hmm. Two. Let's go. Let's tickle him with a check. I, this feels a little bit iffy to me somehow. I don't know. It looks a little bit, a little bit smelly or sketchy or whatever the word is. It just doesn't look right. If he goes c3, I'm going to drop back and try to sack the horse or something. This might not be good for me, by the way. I'm also making some some assumptions here about this position. Let's go back. Because now the diagonal shut. The bishop's very passive. Like, there's the pawn in the way, so there's no scope. That's why I tickled him and then went back to my square. Because now I used to push to open up the scope. I think I'm better here, actually. I don't know if I'm, like, much better or a little bit better, but I feel like I'm better. The light. Let it shine. Cause baby, your fire work. What work? Oh, oh, oh. I, I, your fire work. Okay, now I think I should castle here. Queen H4 is no good. Okay, so I, I guess I'll just go here. Mm. Okay, castles expected that. I think I'll play here in bishop a3, maybe. I don't love my position. This is the third game in a row where I'm not very happy with my position out of the opening. But let's see what he does. The good news is the diagonal shut, though, so he can't really use the scope. And he goes here, I always have bishop a3. I also have a5, a4 somewhere, so I feel like I'm doing okay, and he's so slow actually it's kind of impressive looks he's from where he's from Colombia right 
And I feel like Columbia, they generally don't have a huge chess culture. So it's, it's actually pretty good what he's doing. It's quite, quite good, actually. Okay, let's just go. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just start attacking him. Start pushing the P on the queen side. G4, I take. I think. I think. I'm not sure. I could have maybe taken right away, actually. But again, I'm not Stonkfish. Stonk. I bet. I, I actually bet Stonkfish would have said just take the pawn and you're winning. But whatever. Let's just keep going. So I'm going to play A4. If H6, I can always take with the knight. Okay, super low on time. He's only got 20 seconds. Um, now, I do have A3 here, which is, again, a Stonkfish type of move. But he's attacking me on the other side. So I should play for the themes. Ghost thing. Knight h6 is no good. Could go bishop c5. Don't love it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go. No. Eh. It's weird. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just move quickly here. Let's go back. Don't I just have here though? Yeah, I think he just blundered because also the diagonal is closed. So there are never any tricks on g7 with the pawn and the knight because he can't move the pawn. Just eat the juicer. I do have bishop g4 here, but I don't love it. Um, I think I'm gonna go here to hit the pawn because now all the pawns are loose on the chain. Boom, boom. Even brighter than the moon, moon, moon. I do have knight g4. Uh, I don't love it though. Okay, I'm uh, I'm up a minute though here, so there's really no big rush. Um, if we're being completely honest. So, if there's no big rush, what is the best way to play this? Knight g4 makes sense, but I, I don't like this, like, rook g1 and then some c4 stuff. Hmm. Yay! I'm gonna go here to hit the knight. Rook g2, logical. Hmm. Not in love with my position here. Eight, rook g is not really great actually he's got a lot of counterplay which is kind of a problem we'll go here i'm looking to sack the horse i think okay he flags i mean i don't know what that was but okay we'll take it oh i'm actually much worse here Oh, wow, I'm much worse if he plays knight d2. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, okay. They had a king me for the 24 months. They David Chang for the 3. They had Bojangles for the 4. and age pain GPU for the prime. I'm actually much worse here. Ah, I was supposed to go knight g4 with... Ah, with queen e6. I only saw something like this, and I was worried about knight d2. Some, like, something like this and c4. Oh, okay. So I've been pretty shaky the first three games, but I've still won all three. Thank you to pull Anna for the 22 and Graf Jojo for the prime. Thank you so much. I want to play A3. No, let's play H3. H3 is a good move. Or H4. No, let's go H3. Okay. Let's think about how to play this. Okay, I'm going to play D4. I think D4 is acceptable here. Let's go here, maybe just E3 and C3. It's actually completely acceptable to pawn on H3, probably. I'm going to play this one. Let's go e3. Trying to recall. Okay, I'll go c4 here. Play c6. Okay, I guess I'll go here. Why not? Let's go here. Hit the pawn. All very, all very standard here. Queen b6 probably or queen c8 are the two moves. I think I'm, I think I'm actually just better here to be honest. Because the pawn in h3 allows me to. Look, so it's basically turned into a, a good. It's turned into just a traditional London, except I played h3 instead of like knight f3. Let's go here. Like, normally my knight would be here, but he's got problems with c5. I also have g4 now to lever the bishop. Is g4, g5? Let's think about this. cd5. Uh, g4. Yeah, I think I'm going to take. Let's go g4. Attack the bishop, because now e h3 support. And this is actually turning into something very... Um, this is very similar to something I looked at with Gary many years ago. Let's play bishop d3. I'm going to go knight g2. He can always go c5 here. And by Gary, I'm referring to Gary Chess, of course. Um, queen c2 is probably correct to target the pawn with g5 next move. Use these d's diagonals. 
Goes h6, which looks risky to me at best. Question is, do I go g5 or I think I'll just play knight f3. New age. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. Uh, whoa. Um, radioactive. Radioactive. I can play rook g1 here, actually. I, I would love to castle. Wish I didn't have this rook on c1 because then I could just castle. G5 is a move here. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth it to play it. I, I mean, my gut instinct is actually not. Rook G1 is also a move, and I'm just going to go for Rook G1 here. He can play G... Oh, wow. Okay. G5? Because Knight H5 takes Knight F4. Now G7 hangs. Okay. I mean, maybe this isn't great for me. This looks very, very dangerous for Black. I mean, maybe a Stonkfish would take this pawn, but feels very shaky at best. Knight H5 is actually, I think, a pretty good move that I did not see go here and take I guess I could have taken the bishop too I suppose and I've got these knights there's knight h5 I can also just go like king d2 and rook g1 with a double stack I should be much better here whoa oh I'm radioactive radioactive whoa oh Okay, now I have rook g3. I also have h4. h4, f6, rook g3 is good, act. h4, no knight h... Yeah, h4 is just great, then. Because now I keep the rook here. I can move the king. I also have knight h5 with the hook. And there's no knight h7 either with the bishop and the queen covering. Okay, that's a, actually a very good move. Could just go king d2. Knight e6 takes, takes. Yeah, knight e6 takes and rook g1 should be very good still, though, with the double stack. King e2 with LeBon Cloud, also fine, but I just feel like I don't want my king on this file, basically. I mean, I guess he has queen a5 as well. Knight h5 takes, king c3. Wait a second. I have, yeah, I've got 130. I've got time. Knight h5, queen f2, king c3. Queen c2, king c2. Not clear. Rook g1, knight e6, knight e6, queen f2. Takes, takes, king of 8, h5, h6 at the end. King of 7, h7, rook h8, rook g8. That should be winning. Yeah, it should be winning. Also, I'm happy my king's on d2, because if it was here, he could snap the horse with the pin. So putting the king on d2 is the right square. Yeah, the line that I just said was 96, takes, takes here, takes, takes. Um, well, we're going to get it, actually. I No, I can't. Yeah, of course I take. Takes here, takes, takes. Takes, takes here, here, here. Yeah, we're, we're getting the exact line. Um, yeah, so it's takes, king f8, h5, king e7, h6, h7. He's literally walking right into the line that I just said. So here, here, rook h8, h7, rook g8, and then rook g7. I think this is winning, but I, I could be wrong. I mean, I'm just going to keep pushing my p up the board. So I have rook g8. Very reminiscent of the glass game in the uh, Fisher Random event between... Uh, F Fabuni, uh, uh, Fabiano Caruana, and of course Magnus Carlson, where Magnus had this outside H pawn with a bishop and a rook going up the board to win the event in Wiesenhaus. House. Now, I could be wrong. This might not be winning, but he's also kind of stuck here because I'm just going to go rook g8, rook h8, rook g8, overload him. And I mean, it looks very good, but we'll see. Huh? Wait, what? F5. Ah, uh, Rook G8, he wants to go F5, maybe. Rook H, Rook A8, Rook A8. Bishop F5 is check. Rook G7, Rook H8. And then I can walk the king. King D2, E2, F3, F4, G5. Yeah, yeah, I can just walk the king up. Um, let's just go here. King is cut off. And now now we do, I don't know what that gesture value was, but we do the walk all the way up. I just go here, 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 here. Walk all the way with the king. Now Bishop F5 is also probably winning, but I kind of just want to win like a nice game. Let's just walk the king. I can even go A4 here, I guess. Yeah. Let's just go A4 so he can't get a pass pawn. Yeah, I just did the... I'm like drawing or something, like literally. Yeah, now I just walk the king all the way up. Exactly. Goes c4. Bishop c2 is fine here. Um, 
I was trying to figure out is bishop c2 yeah i mean why not it should be fine he goes there i will just keep walking the king uh go here and then rook h6 threaten a queen he has to go here and now i just take and the rest is basic eat the juicer and we're going to complete it with king h6 or king no let's go this way f6 also is fine but let's go to h6 just because we already talked about walking all the way up let's go here Okay, we got the win okay big win four out of four thank you ice suga for the tier one jenkins fan for the five and bikini bottom feeder for the prime going round number five i'm playing yuri kuzubov um let's play h3 why not keep it simple yeah let's keep it rolling let's go h3 here uh i'll play d4 again why not go here i could have played c3 too i suppose okay let's just go e3 i guess this order might be a little bit shaky from me because here I played h3 I don't want to go c3 here and play knight c3 maybe knight c3 I'm gonna go knight c3 because I have knight b5 here as a trick <clears throat> I'll or no if takes knight b5 there's e5 so yeah so I take of course I could play some weird knight b5 c3 idea I can also just play bishop d3 maybe or g g4 I kind of really want to go g4 again I don't know why could play a3 too um <clears throat> but I'm thinking too long here so I kind of got to go um I'll play g4 to hit the bishop here why not Let's go here <clears throat> He can't take now because I take the bishop and then take the horse. Okay, logical. Go like here, I guess. All pretty pretty standard, I'd say so far. I've got the knights here, the guard. I can play queen d2. Or no, queen d2 he takes knight d4 at the end of that. Okay. Um actually I don't really love my position here, to be honest. I, I don't. Um I'm gonna go here to pressure the horse. Pre-move queen d3, obviously. on try and keep it goes queen b6 uh I think I can play queen d2 or am I wrong two rook b1 yeah queen b2 I have rook b1 or rook b7 I can also trade if knight d4 I just take and I fossilize him so I think I'm okay here I'll pre-move this in case he takes Let's see what he does here not really sure what the what's going on exactly in this position I feel like I'm probably better but I really don't know um maybe I'm not better actually I just realized there's yeah I just realized there's an actually I was expecting him to do the other order with takes and then 94 not this one because of course I take I'm actually not so sure about this because now d5 is a huge threat here there's also Bishop E3. There's also H4, H5 as well. I mean, maybe I'm in trouble here. It's possible I'm in trouble, but I, I feel like I'm okay. It's Rook C8. Okay, so he wants to go Knight A5. Um, let me think about this. D5, Knight A5, Bishop E3. Queen B4, A3 is fine. D5, Knight E5, Bishop E3. Bishop e3 queen a6 d6 I, I don't hmm okay if I don't do it then what am I playing for is my attitude I think I have to go for this if I don't try to explode the center immediately I, I don't know what I'm playing for so he's gonna go knight e5 I'm gonna go bishop e3 to hit the queen knight c4 takes takes I can even go back knight c4 d6 and I'm up up upon I think at the end of that but see what he does okay logical so I go here to hit the Queen of course b3 is Knight c4 anyway because of Bishop a3 now Queen a6 is a move but then takes Knight c4 Queen d5 and I mean maybe I'm still in trouble here I don't know I mean okay whatever Queen a6 maybe I also have b3 though takes takes Knight maybe I hmm, b3 Knight c4 takes 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go b3 here. This might be wrong. I'm maybe I'm just losing, but whatever. Who cares? Knight c4 takes, check king b1, I'm fine. If I didn't kick the queen right away, like here, if I were to play b3, then knight c4 is crushing because takes bishop a3 would be mate. But now the queen's removed from this file after knight c4, I can just take. Okay, so of course I have to take. Here, if I don't take, what am I doing? Rook d8. Okay, wait. If I go king b1, the move. Bishop g5, bishop a3. Okay, let's go here. No, that's... Oh, wait. Knight d5, rook d... Ah, oh, it's still tricky. d2, queen a6, queen d7, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna go... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. So I can take and play rook d2. Hmm, this might be a mistake. I don't know. <clears throat> this takes rook d2. Of course, he finds queen f3. Here, maybe. Still very tricky. Go here, attack the rook and the bishop. Actually, maybe I'm winning because I can sack the queen and mate him. I think I'm winning. Maybe. He has to be very careful because he goes here. I sacked the... Or no, I can't because he's queen d1 at the end. <sighs> bishop a7, maybe? Let's go for this. Queen d... No, wait. Queen d8. Take, takes bishop f8. e7, queen d1. So I have to take. This should be winning, though. Oh, can I sack the queen again? No. Whoops. If I sack queen with queen d8, e7 is f6. Uh, I'm getting low on time. Okay. Go here, I guess. Of course, I blundered again. What? There we go. Now we win the game. Just A4. There we go. We got him. Some good payback for what happened last Tuesday. Okay. King B1. GG. All right. Get the win. Tough game, tough game. I don't know if uh, it's very, very murky. I was supposed to take F7. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I was supposed to take and go Queen E4? Okay, this is just too weird. Yeah, it's just a little bit too weird. I want to sack the Queen, but okay, I'll go here. Apparently, rook f8 and black's fine, but he takes. <coughs> rook d8 was winning. Why? Rook d8, king h7, queen c5. Wow. Okay. But I go here. Oh! He played the e3 here as. Wait. And what? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. I get a queen first, but he's fine. He get, we both get two queens, but I guess I'm getting mate because he also has a check. Okay, kind of insane. Kind of insane. Yeah. Uh, you can literally tell Levy what to do, right? I'm not going to, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, I really actually don't know what... Uh, whatever, let's just play Asics. I don't want to burn too much time. Let's play chess. Okay, now we'll play normal chess. Okay. <clears throat> Question is, what, do, what does this... How does this benefit me? I don't think. I mean, 
Let's go G6, why not? I mean, I'm sure it's stupid, but it's really hard to play as two because the problem is like, this is a serious game against Arjun, but we're also being very, uh, very unserious. Um, okay, I'll play D5 here because H3, normally you play H4, I think. Normally, I think the pawn should be on H4, not H3 here. So, um, let's go here and Bishop B7, Knight D7, I guess, or something. I don't know. Could have played C5 right away, maybe, as well. Logical. Um, well, let's go here, Knight D7. Logical. Go here, offer the trade of the Knights. Probably I'll play C5 next move, I'm guessing. Let's go C5 here. He does have G5, but I'll just trade. Ah, oh, actually, I missed H4. Oy, oy, oy. I missed that completely. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I missed that idea altogether. Um, okay, in that case, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful then. We'll take... I mean, I can obviously trade g h6, bishop e5, d5, knight c3, queen c3, knight c8, rook c8. So wait a second. I mean, I can obviously castle here. Queen c8 is maybe a move as well. Oh, then he's got g5. G5 takes, 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 knight h5. Could play e6 there. Let's go here. I don't know if this is right, but it's what I'm going to do. Because I can take and take g4, maybe. Okay, now I think I have to go for knight e4. Because knight f7, I just take, and there's no fossil. Like, takes, takes, there's a bishop up c7 fossil. Now there's no fossil, so I assume I'm okay here. Very, very murky, though. Very, very murky. You can also trade. I think I'm better here, but I really don't know. I'm trying to figure out 94. Do, no, I think I think this is a good... 94, 95 is never really... In, I mean, it's maybe an option, but I'll pre-move takes. See what he does. Yeah, logical, as expected. Now, I could trade. I could also take with the bishop, which is kind of interesting, too, to go knight c5. Which looks correct, though. I have e3 also here. I also have queen c5. Queen e6 looks kind of ugly, but I bet it's actually an okay move. Or do I go e3? Oh, this is such a messy position. I'm down so much time. I think I'm gonna go here and probably I think I'm gonna castle but eh, this is very messy if he castles I think I can gobble with the two B's under pressure but again it's I really wish I wasn't down too much time here that's the main thing But he's using up his time, so the adv time advantage is disappearing here. Sugar high. One of them sugar high. One of them sugar high. Rook H3, actually, a very good move, I think. It's a move that I didn't see at all. Um, C3, Queen A. Actually, no, you know what? It's not, though, because I can just go Queen A5. Unless I'm blundering something very obvious here, I think I'm. I think I'm better now. Well, better maybe is too generous, but I shouldn't really be worse. Yeah, I expected that. Uh, which rook? I guess I'll put this rook. It's very, very hard to judge what's going on in this game. Very, very, it goes rook c7. Wait, don't I have some queen off two? Ah, I'm too low on time. Gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Go here. And that's I also that's also a bad move by me. I'm too slow. Why am I so slow in this game? G 
actually five takes. Let's go here. No, this is wrong. He's C4, but. Yeah, I messed this up. I'm probably going to lose now because I'm just too slow. Ah, come on, mouse. Don't get stuck. Not now. Still very tricky, though. I still have chance to win this potentially. Wait, what's this? I gotta move, you gotta move. I think I might win this because the position is very, very murky. clear um oh I blundered this yeah ah, I was actually winning that I was winning that if I put the bishop on d5 wasn't I yeah g3 was a mistake uh, I was too low on time. Rook H1 here was also... Yeah, I got too low on time there. If I had more time, I would have been fine. Also here, I why didn't I put the bishop here to stop king c4? That was such a bad fundamental mistake. Yeah, I wouldn't have lost this game if I had put the bishop on d5 to stop this idea. I was really careless. It still was okay here, but only with rook h1, yeah. Because bishop d2, g4, g3... And it's it, that, then we get this this repetition. He doesn't have time for rook c3 like in the game. That's what it is.